Good evening. Hello, Kenya. How are you? Hi, good evening. I'm good. What <laughs> Just happened a little to you? bit sick. Really? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Just working. Yesterday, I went to the hospital at nine. Um. When my shift end at 7 p.m. at that time. <laughs> mm. Okay. Are you yes. still working from home? Yes, still. Are you in disability right now? No. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. But you look like going to a party. What's going on? No, I'm not you're, going you're to you're wearing makeup. <laughs> yeah, all the time, always. Really? I didn't notice before. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. Looking pretty, looking pretty. That's good. Did you solve the problem with the internet? Yes, like the last last week, like two weeks ago, I guess. Clara came and they fixed everything here, like the, the wiring. So yeah. It's good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so it's already home. Okay, we're five already. Um, if you want, you can start like we typically do with a regular conversation or would you like me to give you a question? Come on guys, I need to change this behavior and the sooner, the better. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening, Wilfredo. How are you? I'm fine. I, I, I'm a little tired, but but I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm going to to take my classes in my in my in my jar because. I feel so, so, I don't know. I, I need to, yes, yes. But, but in my job, we are, we are having a uh, little changes. Uh, then when the jurors, it is finishing, uh, it is, it is common, make some, some changes. But it is always, it is so stressful because, we have to 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 make many reports and others others activity mm. but it is it is occupational hazard mm. and okay. what about you how was your day how was your day teacher it was good actually i i went running today with with max so okay. yeah uh, we i got some guts because Today was a horrible morning, you know, a horrible shift at the call center. I I thought I was fine with my neck, but today in the morning I was like suffering. I mean, I was in pain. It was really bad because it, it, it cracked again, you know, and it, and it hadn't cracked like in a week or so, I don't know, ever since I was on disability for a day, it hadn't my neck hadn't cracked until now and it was really painful so i got really worried i couldn't work very well today so i decided to do some exercise and i went out running with the kids with max i took my kids to their first uh, karate lessons and i just left them there i just left them at school and i went running on on the you know, on this uh, place where there's a lot of grass in the middle of the street in Constitución. can't remember yes. how, how you say that. Uh, there's a name for that. The thing is that I, I went with the dogs, you know. 
for an hour, one hour. Yeah. I did I did like 15 or 20 turns. First, I was walking and then just um, jogging, just jogging a little. And it was good, but it didn't didn't fix it. I mean, I'm still in pain. So after the class, I'm going to, my wife is going to shoot me. So, really? yeah, diclofenac, and I can't remember what's the other thing. Um, relaflex. Relajante. Relaflex. It is. Yeah. I, I, I remember five or seven years ago, ago. I, I, I go, I, I got a, a hard pain in my, in my back, but it was, um, a uh, nervio sciatico. Oh, I do that. I have that too. <laughs> but it is so bad because I mean, it's not but... that it hurts a lot. It's just it's annoying. Yes. The pain is annoying. You know, it's like when yes. when something happens like that, it's, it's so annoying. Okay, guys, let me do the attendance before we start. We're gonna start with a ice with an icebreaker because I need you to speak today, and we're gonna do an activity. So. Let's see. Um, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Yes, excellent. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Thought I saw Adriana somewhere, but no. Okay. Um, Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Welcome. Edwin Alexander Ayala Eraso. Present. Thank you, sir. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present. Excellent. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Carla Veronica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Kenia Michelle Arasayas. Present. Thank you. <laughs> Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Hmm. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. This is not here yet. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Excellent. So I'll just throw a question. A topic that you may like. What was the last movie you watched about? What was the last movie you watched about? So we are attacking. We are warning. We are correcting this area of improvement that we have, which is simple past. Let me give you an example. And then I need somebody else to talk about its favorite movie or the last movie that you watched. Okay. Um, last movie I watched, but I didn't finish. It, it was today. Um, I kind of saw again, how do you call this movie? I'm sorry. Uh, it, it it is with um, Sean Connery, Nemo. There's uh, this woman who is like the wife or relative to Dracula or Dracula Bite, or I can remember. The Extraordinary League. I think that's the name of the movie. And you have different characters of books, actually. Not uh, that that's something that I like. Is you come out of the normal, you know, DC, Marvel, no. These are uh, characters from books. Um, there's Jekyll, Jekyll and Hyde, which is a, a, a novel as well. So different superheroes, let's say. And the one that you may know as well is uh, Dorian. Drake Dorian, I can't remember the name of this guy. But you know this story of a guy who has a painting of himself he's a he has a selfie let's say in a painting and as long as the painting is fine he will live forever he cannot die he is made of ashes actually so he's also part of the of the crew and also there's nemo there's nemo with his submarine which is uh, another a different story but the thing is that they fight against the villain which is the um, m Professor M, which is a lunatic, and they they fight, you know, against him. It's a very good movie. I believe it's from the 2000 year, something like that. Have have you ever seen that movie? Nope. Kind of. Yes. 
Okay, so that that's what my movie is about. Latest movie that I watched. What about you? What is the latest movie you've seen? And what is it about? What? <laughs> uh -huh. Teacher, yes. The last movie is uh, I don't remember the name, but uh, it's the Christmas season. Um, because my son he is enjoying that season specific this year. Mm -hmm. it, um, and the movie. The you say the content is right, teacher. The content. Uh the movie is the about top, the the movie is about that the men um doesn't like the Christmas mm. and uh, he drunk. He gets uh, drunk? drunk, or he drinks. Uh, he he drinks a pill for sleep, sleep. But um, the movie is the 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 all day, every day, is Christmas, and when oh. when he uh, woke up, uh, past one year. <gasps> for his life and his his daughter and son he grow grew is 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 growing is right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. green is growing and the relationship with his wife uh, is broken <gasps> okay and but he uh, hates the Christmas, the, 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 the Christmas. But in a specific moment, his daughter uh, has a baby and his daughter has cancer. Um, so, I mean, when she, he goes to sleep and then this yes, has happened. One year, one year. Another one year, year, this has happened. Yes, oh my God. Past 12 years. For the future. Wow. And in a specific moment, the man uh, did reflection about the value, the time with the family. The value of time with the family. Yes. It's different, the, the movies. I believe that is... Um, Brazilian teacher, Brazilian. Is it, is it a, a Brazilian movie, really? Yeah, Brazilian movie in in Netflix. Yes. I'll look for it. I'll look for it. That that sounds so interesting. Wow. Yes, this is my. That's your list. movie. Look for the name. That sounds interesting, guys. Right. Nice, nice moral. Yes. It has a nice message. That's awesome. I love yeah. movies that are based on kind of reality great thank you okay do you know what Anna, tell me select somebody please somebody you like from the group um somebody edwin no, good evening guys um uh, the movie that uh, I don't see movies so um, uh, how often, but the movie my daughter see it's Puss and Boots. It's everything about a cat who's always dream about uh, uh, magic beans. And, and when he was a uh, uh, when he was a little cat, he didn't have a he did he he doesn't have a he doesn't have a home and and actually um he went to an orphanage because uh, he doesn't have a, a house to go so in this orphanage uh, he found a friend 
whose name was Ek, the Ek boy. So uh, the other, other kids call him Mother Hen. They do bullying to him and actually uh, Puss uh, actually took her, took him like his brother. So that's what the, the, the history becomes. And together they grew up and then tried to find the magic things. But actually they always fell. And, and the history, the, and, and the movie comes like they grew up doing bad things. Both uh, went to jail and then separate for a while. Then uh, and somehow they they get together again, and and, and pro they pro pro the first thing they fight and everything, but they um uh they talk about they're going to uh find the the the, the magic beans. Uh, they have some problems when they found them, but uh I remember that the. The, the the bad guys was Jack and Bill as, as, or something like that, but they steal the beans from them. They when they got the, when they, they have the bills in their hands, they went to to a specific place to sembrar or no, I don't know how to say that. But they put the things in the in the dirt. Then um, the the beans grew up to the sky. And then there was uh, uh, up there, there was a castle, a big castle with the clouds and everything. And, and there was a, a, a goose. I remember there was a goose and it has a child and it has a, 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 it has a, 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 a little goose. They put a golden eggs. So they steal the, the, the little goose and they took the goose to the town. And then the mama goose went to the town to risk uh, to risk us, uh, to I don't know how to say rescatar, but actually they went they got, the, the the goose went to the town and they start destroying the town and everything. And I remember that the the mama goose uh, the puss and boos uh, saved the town and everything. They returned the little goose to the to his mama. And and that's the end. And I think the egg died. <laughs> yeah, I I remember that. Yes, he died. I think <laughs> he he fell. What's yeah, the name? Uh, what yes. the, what's the name of the little egg, guys? Is uh, donkey, donkey. Uh, uh, uh it was. What was the name of the egg? I don't remember the name of the egg. I just remember the. Puss and Boots it was the Puss and Boots, the yeah, but mm -hmm. but but the, the the egg had a name. Um, mm -hmm. oh my god, I can't remember. It's a very famous tale. Okay, huh? Look at the chat. And um, uh, Humpty Alexander Humpty Dumpty. Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Alexander Dumpty. Yeah. <laughs> Humpy Dumpy. <laughs> Humpy Dumpy, yeah. No, he doesn't die. I mean, he he transforms into a... He, he was actually, in reality, he was a golden egg. So he's taken by Mama Goose to to the sky. Okay, let's see. Um, Yeah, there are some areas of improvement. He, some other ways of saying things, maybe. He didn't have a home Uh, to egg. And then you continue, sorry. That's how the story began. It, some of you are saying the history. No, it's the story, right? Remember that history is there's just one and stories, there are many stories. Okay, that's how the story began. At first, they used to fight about everything. That's the way she'll say it. At first, at first, right? They has, they have. Sembrar, how do you say sembrar? So, or plant. Uh, rescatar, rescue, or save. Um, good, great job, great job. You know, this is something very common in Americans. They they don't respect the third person rule, and they typically say, "My mother, my mother does that all the time," and I, I don't like it. They has, we has, I has. It sounds weird. They do it. 
just like naturally. Okay, just one more person. We have three minutes. Uh, Edwin, thank you. Great job. Who's next? Do you want me to choose someone? Yes, please. Okay. Um, Susana. Susana. Okay. Hi. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Tell us about the latest movie you saw or just narrate your favorite movie, whichever you prefer. We're, I... we're studying Simple Past. Hmm. I like it. I, I saw many, many, many movies. I don't have um a favorite in particular. I don't have. I, in my Daddy. case, uh, it's like it's like feeling in this moment. Sometimes I, sometimes I like comedy. Sometimes drama. I like crying when I saw movies. I like crying. I like crying. And, um, I don't know. I don't know. I am not prepared for talking about. Just tell us about some movie that you have watched, like The Notebook or. I like I Tom know. Cruise. I like the movies with Tom Cruise because I like his men. Okay, and like Wilson or. <laughs> I like. Did you, like... Did you watch no, the movie The Top Tom? The last The Top yes. Tom, yes. Susie? Maverick. Yes. Maverick. Yeah. Yeah. I like. I like his smile. <laughs> and like that. I don't know how to say. I like. I really like the movie. I don't know if you remember. Um, Los Puentes de Madison. Madison Bridge. Okay, with, with Michael Strip and um, Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I really like it. The scene when when she when she stay in the car and and he's he's in the in the corner. In the rain. Yeah, it's raining. Yes, yes. <laughs> I love this part. I, I cry. I see that. And I see, I see I saw that part many, many times. I really like it. Because <laughs> she 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 take the ¿Cómo dice manivela del carro? ¿Cómo se toca el carro? ¿Cómo se toca la puerta? Oh, the, the knob? The, the door down knob? The window. Uh -huh. she, she pulls oh. down the window. Yeah. No, uh -huh. yes, de la manivela. The, the knob. The knob. The door knob. Uh -huh. The door knob. And she take it. That's it. It's strong. It's, it's like she fight with, with herself for don't to avoid. Open the door and go. And, and I love it. I think it's a it's a great it's a great expression for love. <laughs> expression to love. I think it's that. It's a great I love like expression. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I you you, you I, made I, me. I, oh, <laughs> oh yes, the, the moon is there's a full moon, right? Yes, yes. Let's see if you remember this movie and if you haven't watched it, uh Susana, I will recommend it to you. It's called At First Sight with Val Kilmer. Oh, Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer at first sight. He's blind. He's blind. Ah, yes, El Santo, no teacher. Mm, I don't know the name in the Spanish, but it was called At First Sight. And I can't remember yeah. the name of the actress. At First Sight. Um, a Primera Vista. So it was with Val Kilmer, Mira Sorbino, Lena De Niro, Kelly McKeels. I don't know. It, it, I don't know. I remember that, that movie because it's very uh, romantic, I will say. I recommend you. I recommend you, Susana. If you like, if you are romantic like me, I recommend you a, ser a series on Netflix from scratch. Oh my God! Today I cry. I cry. 
for scratch. From from scratch? From scratch. From scratch. Okay. Yeah, from scratch. Oh, no worries. Mm -hmm. oh my god. I cry like uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's ah, a beautiful me. yeah. Nice I, I want to me. I want to go to Florencia oh, and Italian, Italian man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, I want to go to Florencia and fall in love. <laughs> Okay, so so you may like uh this other movie. I see, I see the dance. I see. Oh my God, what's the you name remember of the movie? There, there's a movie that of a woman that falls in love, falls in love with this guy in a wheelchair. If I wouldn't have met you, si no te conocido, no, no. What's the name of that movie? Only you? No. Oh no. Um, oh my God. What's the name of the movie, guys? She falls in love. I mean, she's she's hired to take care of him. He's on a wheelchair. Uh, uh, me after you, me after you. Oh. Next to you, no, 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 no. The proposal, no. No, me after you. Yo, des the yo después de ti. Uh -huh. Right, yo después de ti. Oh. Uh, you know the, right. the Ridley story? No. What happened, this girl? Is it a Wait, real story? Me yes. before you, me before oh, you. Me before you, me before you, after. The before. proposition. Yeah. <laughs> What's the real story? Tell me. Uh, when she's a, a little girl, uh -huh. in the in the novel, it would say that he was raped. Raped? Yes, you raped. She was raped. Uh huh. She was raped. And because she, for no, I'm sorry, for that she she take this this form to use the clothes. Oh, always that's... like a child. Uh huh. She that's why she always dresses up like that. Uh -huh, because she have she had a a, problem a trauma with... a trauma. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Good job. Let's see. I don't have be careful with have and have 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 i say have i say have you don't no. listen to me <laughs> <laughs> you don't listen to me carefully okay i will try to do my best now okay but that's what it sounded to me i'm sorry maybe i'm old i don't have a favorite i don't have a favorite i don't have a favorite okay it's it's I don't up have to, a favorite. I don't have a favorite. The way you can say that, it's it's up to my mood. The movies I watch, I like to watch, you know. It is all up to my mood. It's up to my mood. And yeah, you say doorknob to the doorknob, the place where you doorknob. hold the door. Yeah, you open and close the door. Okay, so thank you guys. I will continue with this exercise at the beginning of the class, the first 30 minutes. You got to talk. That's all. Just talk about any topic that you like, okay? And if possible, I mean, if you bring an open question to the class, that will be great. Something that you will like everybody to talk about. So yesterday we talked about unethical behaviors, unethical um, experiences at work. We were having a discussion and we ended up with a presentation that I kind of, I kind of finished the presentation let me look it up really quick okay here it is so yesterday we almost finished the presentation um about unethical behaviors unethical practices i'm sorry unethical practices but mostly we talked about we talked about mostly about employers point of view what about employees what are we not expected to do, right? Last thing we, we talked about is that employees should, should adopt hiring policies that give equal opportunities of employment to all who are qualified. And we were talking about people with disabilities, right, and everything. We talked about this on the end of employees, false claims, for example. And this is an example that I gave you before when someone pretends to be over 18 years old and they are actually 
under 18 and that's a risk for the company. Now, this could be a good example of how you can, you know, avoid the heat, let's say, for the company. You can say that the person was born in on the 29th of February, you know, and that was a leap year. So you got it right. <laughs> Man, I wonder how they do that. What happens if you're born on February 29th? Wow. Can you imagine that having you're a birthday? You celebrate your birthday the first oh. March. The first of March. Okay. Yes. But, but how often is there a, a a year like that? I mean a, a, a February 29th. Four years. Every four every, years. Every four years. Mm -hmm. Wow. Man, that's gonna be really crazy to be born on that day. Oh my God! Okay, you're never, you're never getting older. <laughs> you never get older. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> you wish, right? Yes. <laughs> In general, teacher is unethical uh, when the employees lie about. The, their, their the age personal no the general the personal information mm -hmm. for example the status of civil status is right yeah their civil status mm -hmm. yes. ah, yeah. single yeah if they said they're <laughs> single and they have like three wives yes yeah <laughs> yeah okay. how do you say how do you say polygamo <laughs> Polygamous, yes. Yeah, that could happen. Okay, what about their qualifications, you know, their false certificates? This is very, well, it was it was a very uh, common practice a few years ago. Do you remember the scandal here in El Salvador where many doctors were not doctors and lawyers were not real lawyers? Oh, oh my teachers God. Teachers and the university oh. teacher. Yeah, they were selling, right, in the San certificates. Salvador, in San Salvador, selling titles. Titles, yes. Yes, in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. I have one. You got one? No. <laughs> what? No. I heard you no. said I got one. No. <laughs> Come on, Susana. Okay. Yeah, that this is totally unethical from the employee side. Taking decisions as per your convenience you know as an employee when you make a decision on your convenience look at that picture i mean wow you know i won't lie to you when i worked at the call center for a year i worked um in the graveyard shift you know from 12 no midnight from 12 midnight to 8 9 a.m i used to fall asleep underneath my cubicle my cubicle just like that on the picture but underneath the cubicle i used to take a pillow you know fall asleep and if the phone rang i used to stand up take the call and go back underneath the cubicle because it was really tired i mean to spend the whole night awake it was difficult okay so yeah it's unethical right to do things that they don't pay you to do right at work and that's basically it now a tobacco worker, she she get early the office and she sleep. She sleep. She sleeps really. Yes. So you and find her I, sleep all every morning or what? Yes, and and she she put the alarm to eight o'clock and she wake up. <laughs> she wow. She is well, early. Mm hmm. Maybe she's coming from far away. No. 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 She is. I don't know how do you say esta palabra en español. Lazy. <laughs> more, more than that, more. More than lazy. How else can you say lazy, guys? There's another word. Pero es also es lazy. Yeah, that's lazy, right? Mm -hmm. Hmm. How can you the lazy. Cuando... Relacy. <laughs> okay. Extremely lazy, maybe. Okay. There was another way. Okay. So that's from the employers and the employees side. Do you believe 
Yeah, definitely. This is a dummy question. I, I was about to make a dummy question. Do you believe that humans are always involved on unethical business practices? Yeah, right. Could you repeat the question, teacher? I was making my the question to myself, you know, wondering, are human always involved on unethical business practices or is it that the business goes into um unethical behaviors um, unwilling to could that happen i think i think you can choose you you can choose the yes. board the board of directors and this is like I don't know, it's even worse, right? When you have a board of directors that make a decision that turns out to be illegal, unethical, and then the business is in trouble. That's our topic for today. What are the consequences organizations undergo as a result of unethical practices? That's the topic for today. I'm just gonna put it in on the WhatsApp because I'm getting used to do that okay the consequences organizations undergo as a result of unethical practices let's have a conversation really quick mm, somebody who hasn't talked so far gloria wilfredo adita sandra walter nelson or kenya carla you're quiet today oh there was this guy on the movie that i was talking about um this invisible man skinner <laughs> man i like that that power that superpower sounds so awesome to be invisible okay so tell me what what from your perspective what are unethical um i mean what are consequences that organizations may go through due to unethical practices or have you heard and this is going to be your job today you have to come up with a news you have to go on the internet with your group and find a news about consequences that a company faced let me give you an example there was like three years ago there was a scandal about a company whose security breach which security breach was uh, i mean there was a security breach on this company and thousands millions of credit card numbers what Fincepro was here in El Salvador no the example that I'm giving is is from another from a bank good good keep keep remember keep remembering Susana because we're going to use those examples totally but the example that I want to give you it was not in the United States they yes yes Hi. Hay, hay una película. There's a movie, yeah. A movie. There's a movie about it, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. The laundry, I you know the laundry. It was money laundry. I don't know. Panama Papers, I don't know who is the. Oh, no, but that's something else. No, what I'm saying is that thousands, millions of card numbers were exposed mm -hmm. and stolen because there was a security breach of a bank. And thousands millions i don't know of people were were um were given some money you know in exchange of the issue i can remember the name of this and it was three years ago so uh, that that's an example of consequences now what was the unethical behavior there what, what was the unethical practice they didn't have a proper security breach. They claim, and this is the problem, what is unethical is not what happened, but the fact that you, you, your marketing and everything surrounding you states that you are a secure bank. You see, that's the problem. You keep saying you're a secure bank, you're a secure bank, and then boom, money laundry is inside your, your bank, you know, your clients, your customers are are uh, impacted by these behaviors, these situations. 
the other main consequence is teacher that the, uh, the what is the impact in the culture of the company because um, if the board of directors they have the unethical behavior mm -hmm. the old company the in general the the process the behavior the environment in the general is no is no um, is um, unethical too in general because the the line in the, in the company the the yeah, the way the company is a uh, is is given is given is mm -hmm. given for the the high administration of the company and that's the point i mean that was my first question you know it's like the highest administration the board of directors they they take decisions that in the end may not be that good you know so this kind of things could happen but let's go through the topic itself you know what are the consequences they experience um as a result or of unethical practices they share mm -hmm. good evening and uh, one consequence is when there are many behavior or um, uh, or this kind of behavior in in the for part of the employees, the companies change their policy, and in the companies begin to get to. So, so hard with the policies and the employees um, start to a difference of benefits because many, many times the companies cook some benefits for, for, for bad beha behavior between em employees. Mm -hmm. Totally. Now, all of this is involved with um... I mean, looking at the, the, the company side, what happens when, for example, the company gives false advertisement, false product claims, you know, um, because you can say that you are, and, and this is critical, in the United States, marketing is different than here in El Salvador. Um, as a clear example, an example that I like giving is there's always a competition between Geico, an insurance company, Geico, Sedwich, uh, Sedwick, um, I can't remember another insurance right now, uh, Geico, and there's another famous insurance. But the thing is that they are always attacking among themselves, you know, on marketing. And they tell you, don't go with the competitor. We offer you this. And they are giving you this cable companies. Cable companies are always attacking themselves. It's like they, they offer you $50 a month. We offer you $45 a month. What's and that's better. You know, we have this, 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 and that. So publicity is really uh, strong. It's very, um, how do we, how can we call this? Very competitive. It's very aggressive. That's the word. Publicity in the United States is very aggressive but you have to be ethical and it's called business etiquette. When you say something about your competitor, it has to be truth. If you say a lie about your competitor to gain profit, that's illegal. And you can be sued, you know, there's a lot of things involved. That's part of the consequences when a company does this kind of behaviors, so unethical behaviors. Um, they can experience a, a major loss. Let me give you a clear example. <laughs> this is a funny thing that happened. I don't know if you have noticed 
Do you remember this? Red Bull de Dallas. Do you remember the commercials, right? The ads? Yes. Red Bull yes. de Dallas, right? Yes. So uh, who knows? Who knows about what happened? This is not real, the, but uh, it's unethical because it's exaggeration. Mm -hmm. For example, when the the advertisement is ah, we are the best in the market. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, okay. But do I, you know? Do you know what happened with Red Bull, Edwin? No, nobody knows I what happened. Huh? The chain, the, the their the, marketing strategy. Exactly. They changed their marketing strategy, but why? Why I, 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 I like those, false, those commercials. It's the false advertisement. It was false advertisement, yeah, but what yeah. happened? Okay, if you don't know, they were sued by a group of people. They were sued due to false advertisement. And the people who sued them, they, they went to court and they said, I mean, Red Bull doesn't give me wins. It's a lie. It doesn't give me wins. So they went through this legal bottle. And guess what? They won the bottle. And Red Bull had to give um, a compensation to thousands of clients. Thousands of consumers were given this. this. I think they, they, they got free Red Bull for a certain period of time. I don't know. So they stopped the commercials. I love these commercials. They were very funny, some of them. You know, I don't know if you remember. So that's a clear example. Now, that's an extreme example of unethical practices. It wasn't, it was a harmful, it was a harmful uh, ad, I will say, or something that was harmful for the audience. Because we are all conscious that conscious that that a drink, a beverage won't give you wins, right? Okay. Now that I brought that up, do you remember any other commercial, any other ad, any other publicity ad that that you may go like, that's not true, that's a lie, it's not possible. Okay. How about? Mm -hmm. the okay. Commercials, uh, the commercial when when uh, men are bo bold. Oh, oh, that's another one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah, not when bold. Yeah. I'm not bold. <laughs> no, no. I, I remember. <laughs> no, you're not bold. Maybe you have. How do you say canas? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I do. I do have some <laughs> some silver you need, hair. You need some. <laughs> you need some. <laughs> some no. team. <laughs> yeah, a commercial maybe when men men are bold and they tell you this uh, with this uh, your your hair is growing up and you say mm. <laughs> yeah, but Homer Homer got lucky on that side, right? Edwin, have you My seen Homer? All the time, it's the My Simpsons. Father, um, all the time. Yes mention I want this because I lost in my hair, <laughs> and I say my father. <laughs> Just put some oil. How, how do you call this? Apote oil? No, 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 no. Sapuyulo. Sapuyulo, yeah. Sapuyulo oil. You know, I tried. Donde, donde venden. <laughs> yeah, any, 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 local, hey, any local market. Any local the, market. Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, talking about commercial, I remember that I don't know if it, if it was in United States. That a man demand to Red Bull because Red Bull always told told us um, Red Bull give you win. And then uh, this man, I, I I don't remember well, but I I guess that he demand demand to to Red Bull because he drank and he never got wings. 
Yeah, yeah, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> Phoenix. I mean, or, we... or about Toyota. Oh. No, I don't know mm -hmm. if you remember. Uh, no lo maneje, maltratelo. Oh, yeah. That could be false know. advertisement. It's true. Was it Toyota? The Tacoma? I, I, I or don't the know. Hilux, I, no, Hilux. Hilux, right? Hilux. Uh -huh. Hilux. Yeah. Don't, don't drive it, yeah. mistreat it. <laughs> and they were serious. <laughs> They were serious about it. Don't drive it, mistreat it. Now, yes. if you noticed, uh, talking about marketing in, in on TV, ads on TV, they have changed tremendously during the last 10 years. Now, there's always an asterisk and another uh, another line in small letters at the bottom of some, some ads. And what is funnier, is alcohol alcohol ads johnny walker you know i i don't like the way it sounds at the end of every ad right what right okay but they they are required to and the show oh, also, also, and the cigarettes. yeah and the cigarettes. cigarettes nowadays they put a, a photograph inside the box with the the oh my god the, the yes, they, they yeah. must part of their, their com advertisement campaign must contain anti-cancer um publicity. Yeah, cowboy like Marlboro <laughs> imagine that guy the, he they yeah. stopped they stopped showing the Marlboro guy on, on yeah. Marlboro ads because he was gay. <laughs> imagine mm -hmm. yeah, yeah they stopped it and, and it happened right after the movie, uh, the the secret the of the mountain, mountain. Bro 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 Black mountain. mountain. Uh -huh. Yes, secret of the mountain. I haven't, I haven't watched that movie. I think no man has ever watched that movie. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah. So this kind of things. I think in marketing is is very clear. What is an ethical. You know, uh, there, there you can get a lot of examples. So before we start reading first and then coming up with our own examples, I'm going to do the attendance so we can start working now that we are 14. Thank you, guys. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Excellent. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present, teacher. Good. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. <laughs> waiting. Okay, I can see you. <laughs> Thank you. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Excellent. Don't forget, turn on your camera when you say present. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Not here. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Present teacher. Excellent. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Susie, yeah, she's there. Okay. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Hey, good evening. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte, not here tonight. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. So, what, what are we going to do? We're going to read a little bit. Let me see. Teacher. One, two, three. Hey. Do you mention me? <laughs> didn't I? I didn't. Okay. Kenya, Michelle, Lara Sayas, didn't I? No, right. Oh, my God. Sorry. Okay. I, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, but I did take your attendance thank you um so we have oh my god this is a little bit extensive well I think, yes there are some as well well why oh my god huh six how many are we we are 15 okay now due to the fact that sometimes not all of you talk or connect to the small groups. I shouldn't do that, you know, but I think all of us 
all of us get get into the small groups when I do the breakout rooms. But so this time I'm, I'm just going to do four groups. Let me see if I do four. It's going to be between three and four participants. So yes, we're going to do four. <laughs> okay, what are we going to do? What are we doing? There is an article, a great article about 10 common unethical business practices, okay? And it is split on the first part is exactly 10. Um, the 10 um, common and ethical business practices. So we're going to divide them. Can somebody help me with the math? Can you do the math? 10 between four. Let's work until eight, from one to eight. That sounds more fair. So from one to eight and so on, as we usually do. So, bien, le voy a explicar rápido en español porque necesito que quedemos claro en lo que vamos a hacer. Tengo cuatro grupos. El primer grupo quedó de cuatro. Es, tengo a Adriana, Stephanie, Martínez, perdón. Adriana, Edwin, Gloria y Rosalena. Súper bien. Ok. En ese grupo, es el grupo número uno. Voy a hacer lo que usualmente hago de tomarle un screenshot y enviarlo al grupo de WhatsApp. Vamos a trabajar con un artículo que tiene 10... ¿Cómo le llamo a esto? 10 artículos, no queda otra más que ser redundante. Bien, tiene 10 artículos. Vamos a trabajar del 1 al 8 en el orden en el que se han configurado los grupos. O el, el grupo 1 haría el 1 y el 2, el grupo 2, el 3 y el 4, y así, ¿no? Hasta llegar al 8. Ahorita está el link en el WhatsApp. Bien. Entonces, por ejemplo, el grupo 1 se encargaría de false product claims y hidden terms in user agreements. Ese es como los dos temas principales del grupo. Ahora, poniendo de ejemplo el grupo 1, aparte de seleccionar el tema 1 y 2 del listado, ¿okay? más abajo, y porque de esto trata en la clase, está una sección que dice Famous Examples of Unethical Business Practices. Entonces, el grupo 1 nos va a hablar también de Wells Fargo. Sería el primer ejemplo de Unethical Business Practices. Son casos, casos eh, concretos de cuando una empresa ha incurrido en esto de Unethical Practices. El grupo 2 haría Ferrero USA, el 3 Volkswagen y el 4 Foxconn o Coca-Cola si gustan. Hay seis ejemplos en total. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? Se lo voy a enviar bien detallado ahí al, al, al grupo, ¿ok? So. ¿Quieren que lo haga más detallado? Mejor, sí, sí, mejor en español. Sí. Mejor para el... No, 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 me refiero, no, me refiero a, a la distribución. Por yes. ejemplo, eh, vamos a hacerlo de nuestra la vez. So, group one. Va a tener a su cargo los siguientes temas. False product claims and hidden user agreements. Uy, ok. That's group one. Voy con group two. Ok. El grupo 2 va a usar unethical accounting. And poor working conditions. Poor working conditions. Poor, poor, not poor, poor working conditions. Ok, el grupo 3. Nos va a hablar de sexual harassment. Punto número 5. Y defamation. Ok. Y el grupo número 4. 
Ay, sorry, se me fue el dedo ahí. Group número cuatro, trade, secret misappropriation y bravery. Esos son los temas del grupo cuatro. Ahora, estos son temas de, de prácticas comunes de de um, prácticas y no éticas comunes en las compañías. Ahora, los ejemplos ya están ahí. Está Wells Fargo sería el primero para el grupo uno. Ok. El dos sería Ferrero USA. Son casos bien prácticos. Solo necesito que en sus propias palabras, como siempre se los pido, describan qué fue lo que pasó con cada uno de estos casos. So, prácticamente lo que van a ir a hacer es leer el caso, leer la parte que le tocó a cada uno. Ahí está. Esa es la segunda parte. Wells Fargo, Ferrer, USA, Volkswagen y Foxcom. Solamente hablar de lo que han leído, han entendido. En el medio del artículo, si ya lo vieron, hay un video corto que dura como 3 minutos 39. Lo pueden ver si gustan, si quieren entender un poco más, en lugar de estar leyendo, pero lo mejor es que vayan al grano al punto que les tocó a cada uno. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta de lo que vamos a hacer? Vamos a regresar a exponer lo que hemos leído. We need a presentation. If you want, if you want, it's up to you. Just talking. I mean, what I want is people talking about the topic to the class, explaining to the class. Okay, guys, we read about false product claims as we were mentioning. Um, you know, you cannot say that your product cures CASPA, you know, how do you say CASPA in English? And so, yeah. And when it is, when it is not true, you know, for example, that will be an unethical practice from the business. What could be the consequences? And, and this is important. This is muy importante. Como resaltar al menos una oración para decir, why is this unethical? Well, because your product doesn't cure the problem that it states it cures. Okay? Tan simple como eso. You got it? Got it, teacher. Okay, if there are no questions, si les ruego, nadie se quede en ese pequeño salón, vamos todos a colaborar como equipo, ok, so let's go, let's do it, show me what you got Okay, Edwin. <clears throat> we need to read. Hello. Hello. So I was I was reading the Wells Fargo right now. Do you do you read it already? You read the number one because we are number one and we have Wells Fargo. Yes. Yeah, but also we have the, the two points, false product claims and hidden terms in user, user agreements. Okay. And where is those paragraphs? Oh, um, at the, the beginning of the document. In the beginning of the document. You are, yeah. 
it starts and uh, what is the definition and mm -hmm. unethical business practices and then it, it start one false product claims did you find it yes aha uh -huh. if you want to read this false product claims Okay, uh, there, there is a huge difference between using marketing to paint a product or service in the best possible light and outright lying. With traditional advertising, it's easier to monitor if companies are using misleading language to target customers with digital advertising. Anyone can run and add a face, minimal oversight, back up the clients they make their ad. Companies may use fake reviews or ask influencer, influencers to unders their product. Yes, in you the case, in the public, public company, mm -hmm. that uh, the public company needs to attract the new mm -hmm. inv investors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I understand, thank you. Internationally misfinal account can make a company seem more profitable than it really is. I like you say that. It's more profitable. Okay. Yeah. These hard investors who may purchase shares in the company only to end up losing when the truth is revealed. Reveal. How do you say that this word? Revealed. Revealed. Revelado. La verdad uh -huh. revelada. Revealed. When, when the investor uh, only only that you know purchase the shares and uh -huh. the share the, the value the share uh -huh. is not true. Uh -huh. Okay. And the next part, unethical business practice towards employees. Another way for business to get ahead on, ten, on technically is by trading employees unfairly. Another way, I think it's other same. You can um, ahead. What is I mean? Ahead. Ahead, like. Like got it, like take. Sorry, I love. What is your question, what, Susie? I'm sorry. What is I mean ahead? I understand with this is like uh, other ways. Um, you can. Well, no, I don't know what is ahead. Get ahead. Um, uh, is uh, adelante ahead. Okay. It's similar. It's like to forward. In front, mm -hmm. the teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. In, mm -hmm. okay. in front. But ah. in front de enfrentar. Not teacher. In front de okay. enfrente. Front. Right, ahead. Enfrente. Mm -hmm. I mean, towards okay. what is next? What's coming in front of you? I think it's more, I think it's more expensive for, 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 what do you mean? Businesses? She said that businesses? Businesses. Businesses. Well, I think it's more expensive when you can, when you try to identify this process, maybe? I am trying to explain that, teacher. I want to understand. I don't want to use Google. I, I understand, okay. too, that the, the other way where uh, 
is possible to practice the unethical accounting is when the company uh, keep the cost for the benefits the the employees for example don't pay the don't pay don't pay the overtime for example yes for example don't pay the overtime mm -hmm. and the expensive uh, in the financial statement the expensive a look, how do you say seven? The expensive. They seven. look, ex they, look. They, they look expensive. They look less expensive. Less expensive, more expensive. Okay, and good. The profit increase. Mm. But it's not, it's not true. Because the like only appearance, maybe? I'm sorry, Susie. Only appearance? Only appearance, yes. This is the fraud. Mm -hmm. This is the fraud. The, 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 those two ways. A harassment is very common in the companies that, that this type of problem occurs. And it is not only in women, it also occurs in men. And many times it is not the news, but the miedo. What do you say, miedo? Excuse me. What about? How do you say miedo? Fear. Mm -hmm. um, and not the news for for fear. Um. Um. Um, being fired, uh, being fired. Repre, represalias. Repres How do you say in English? Um, rela, re, retaliation, retaliation. Retaliation. Re, retaliation. 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 Yes. Retaliation. Retaliation. <laughs> it, it is. It is. Uh, I. I don't know, but but I guess that it is. It is common when when uh, women, for example, they 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 are in in uh, getting sex harassment, for example, if she didn't she, she report. To to the bosses, it is uh, could be they can take retaliation about that. But I guess that another consequence could be that the company could could have a a defamation defamation about that. But always. Uh, Nadie hace nada. Yeah, but that's because, as I said, uh, because we are um, afraid what? about that. You no, know? so if you have a like a really good oh. place where you are working it depends of your ethics because you can't have nothing you know for living in that moment like uh you're not you will not be getting payment you will be fired but if you have a loose sometimes um it could be something good uh you know to to tell to human resources you know as we mentioned the last time that we were talking about something like that 
Uh, but yes, we are always afraid about it, of telling that because you don't know what your boss or what the management team will do, um, as you mentioned, right, about the retaliation. So what do you think now about the defamation itself? I guess because that... it says that mm, tell, tell <laughs> there we go. No, I was going to say um that for example here it mentions that sometimes another business um are creating fake accounts on social media like to tell to spread to spread right lies about uh competitors so that's what the teacher were telling us before um that you know they just want to get all customers as much as they can and sometimes they are not thinking about the way that they are getting it so Mm, in this case, I think a consequence in the future will be, how is this word, like, wait, how do you say demandas? Demand. <laughs> meant but there there was another word it meant shoes how do you say that <laughs> sue sue just like the the name of a woman sue, sue. Oh, okay oh sue okay yes i, I think that's the like the main consequence of defamation when you're trying to uh, to get you know everything in a in a company. What about you guys? Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Yes, and I, I, I know. I, I was, I was thinking about when, the, for example, if a com, if a company, for example, he announced in a social media, but the company lied about about the his or the product. If if you di didn't receive a. Um, for for example, if you you buy something, but um, you you didn't receive the, the real product, it is so common when the company uh, could be could be uh, get defamation defamation, but. Um, I, I I don't know. I don't remember a real case in El Salvador, for example, because it is so common in face. You can you can see you can see many so information about some product, but maybe. The company may offer money. Nelson. Yes, it's true. It's true because it's assigning in the in the people or organization specific. But yes, in the in the, in the gold, the more money. Yeah. I get in commission for the getting commission. It is it's a call. A person.
this action is common in, in the political, yes. in the government. Yes. Uh, government, in the government, is, is a practical, uh, mm. uh, unethical, unethical, uh, anytime in the police. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, generally in the strict. <laughs> yes, I said the I said the 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 bribery. Yeah. What do you think, Gabi? In number eight? Yeah, um, I agree with, with both of you. And in my um, area, for example, it's a practice common. I work with the uh, Chinese companies and they, uh, Sometimes have a, or make an arrangement with the shipping companies, uh, so they get a, a commissions to ship with them, and they sell the the ocean freight uh, more expensive than they that they uh, at 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 They oh my god. Um, that they buy the, the space. So uh, they usually make an, an arrangement and they uh, win a, a commission. So uh, I think this, uh, this practice, uh, it's common in different areas. So. Well, but, but the Chinese, if they have more security, this is a high strictly strict, but the, the document or the, the project is more more uh, security. For, ex for example, uh, I, I I watch in the in the company the the, the Chinese is I put a more security in the in the in the computer a, a program and what uh, all to to do in the company I I record I recording the, the the all to do in the in the company in, in the in the PC or program all to do the is a recording. Yes, we are. Uh, no, they are is more more uh, validity in the security implement uh, extreme. Yeah. You go to the samples, the topics. One, one, oh my God. One, 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 one 42 one, million. Two million to the affected, to the parties, affected parties, parties, which include which millions of customers. Imagine. Oh my God. Right. That is, that is unbelievable. So yes. in September 2016, improperly 2,000 service member cars 
the Department of Justice slapped Wells Fargo for improperly responses, responses since the cards of the members of the military. The bank didn't know limit interest in rate, rates to 6% six, six as is required by the law. Failed to tell card, cards to the borrowers were active, active duty when it asked for evictions and failed to obtain cards papers prior to responsing cars. The bank ending ending up paying 20 million in fines to the OCC in May made it restitution of over 10 million to wrong service members. December 2016 Wells Fargo felt it's living well test. U.S. Regulator, regulators restricted Wells Fargo's side after it failed at living will test a requirement. The big banks must show how they will unwind in the event of the bankruptcy. That was a very scandalous for what it happened. Yes. But it un, 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 it's very... Uh, um, unethical? unethical about the employees how they prepare all this to clone these five uh, half a million cards and still how many I don't know uh, a million of dollars imagine how how this um, how this uh, how this affect the company a lot they have is this bank is in in nowadays this bank is, is still open Wells Fargo uh -huh. yeah Wells Fargo yes it's a big yes, bank I, over there I, in the US I don't know it's not like a bank or a uh -huh. bank no I, I it's a financial company but I I think that it's not a bank I don't know. Really? Let me let me find it is a bank, but I know that it's a financial company. For example, uh, here in mm -hmm. here in El Salvador, there's a company that have um, oh my god, how do you say Alianza? I I watch uh, some publicity. I Alliance. yeah I, I watch um uh, publicity uh, uh -huh. uh, one bank here, and they say there's uh, something like. Uh, if you you have family outside the, the the country, they can they can send you money by Wells Fargo. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think okay. that actually it's it's yeah, um, it's oh my god, it's fun. Can I say function? <laughs> it's working. It, it's working. If we can see Rosalena here. They're still doing the same thing. They do more fake accounts because yeah. in 2016, a new estimate of 3.0 million fake accounts emer emerged. Mm -hmm. A figure, figure 1.4 million higher than the initial estimate. They, they <laughs> have to they had to pay a lot of money. Yes, they do. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, it was in, in 2016. Yeah, there, there is a lot of yeah. information about this. It it the happened in 2016. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. practice. Wells Fargo Bank, financial service and online banking. Yeah, it works so actually. This that will that this this with this information is that what we need to explain, and and we need to say about how this bank make this uh ethical process to this their customers, and I I think uh many of the employees were fired. When at the beginning of the the conversation we robbed the uh, as the manager I think got fired 
for this practice. Yes, Let me manager, see if I yes. can find this information here. The manager, uh, let me. I think is this the one is in the picture. Yes. Uh, he's a security. Okay, you can ex you can explain the case and and I explain because Adriana, I think Adriana is on the I think he's not able, but probably she's busy. Yeah. Sometimes I I'm like this with my daughters, especially last week last last week. I have my I have my daughter sick. Really? I don't know. Yeah, so sometimes it's very hard. Okay, I mm -hmm. can. You can you can explain the case and I explain the 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 uh -huh. two points: the false product claims and the hiding terms using user in in agreements. False product claims and hiding terms in user agreements. Do you yes. want me to explain this? Yes, in a few words. <laughs> okay. And then, and okay then let, you... let me let me prepare because I, I was reading the about the bank. <laughs> and we didn't hear <laughs> nothing about for this. So let me. No. Let me... Okay, you can you can mm -hmm. explain you can explain about the Wells Fargo case. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Let, you can do it practices when you say that you can just do this on ethical practices because intentional mismanaging account yes it's a pro intentional yes. intentionally intentionally mismanaging account mismanaging account but you need you need to start the the answer. Why these are unethical practices? Is uh, the teacher okay. saying that? Uh, you can say are unethical uh -huh. practices. Unethical practice mm -hmm. because intentional you say the account mm -hmm. is it fraud? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. The other the how do you say the information? The inform false information, false information like for um, for stakeholders mm -hmm. is take is take. I had use information for is stakeholders take. Holders, no, it's take, it's take. Holders, take holders. In the other, the the when when we're talking about appearance, mm, but the consequences. Oh, this is the or next. Is the next. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, it's explained, but you it's explained because it's it's a bad. Yes, it's a bad. Lo tengo en la punta de la lengua. Interpreten mi silencio. <laughs> ok. I do say, es un engaño. En in general, yes. is, um, is. In the next part, when you say, when, when talking about, about the cost, Ah, okay. mm -hmm. I'm talking about the cost. How would they affect the companies? The reputation of the company. I'm sorry. The customers too. Customers. Yes. 
the customer lost his inversion. The, the customers lost his inversion, maybe. Cost no, no, no cost your money. Because it's general, right? Lost future Lost investor in business. In new Lost business. New business. Of a business opportunity. Business of in the part. Business. In the economical. Economical part. Yes, increase. Mm -hmm. Increase the increase the cost the cost for mm -hmm. the amen. Now we can use we can use the other payments payments. Mm -hmm. Is right pay no. multas for pay for the fine. Do you see the word multa? For the fines, for the fines, okay. But okay. it's not for the pay. Mm, payments. For payment. Payments. Payments. This? <laughs> yes. Payments. For the payment fines, okay. For the multa. Mm -hmm. um, um, are is possible the the uh, the how do you say uh, litigious is the demand uh, 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 trial what what is the name Carlita Juicios o litigios, trial, es como el juicio. How do you spell, eh, Carlita? Eh, posible, posible. Trial, así como se escucha. Ah, posible. claims, yes. Trial, trial. Trial. Como un juicio, ajá. Trial, ajá. I... Sí, sí, trial, posible. Possible trials. Mm -hmm. oh, possible trials. Le puede poner pleca, demand, trial. Possible, mm -hmm. possible demand, pleca, trial. What do, you think, what do you think with the time? Mm -hmm. With the time. Ah, oh, it's relation with reputation. It's relation with that. Okay. The reputation, los customer, la future investor. Yes, because when you when you um recuperar, what you say? Recover. Recover, yes, recover the the confidence. Ah, the trust. Recuperar, mm -hmm. retrieve. Okay. What is the, I don't the, know. I don't know. Is included with reputation. It's relation. You see reputation. You lost reputation, but the company needs. Lost the. 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 Lost Cost. 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 Yes, it's no, it's it's expensive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's expensive. Okay. We explain the the case. Yes, in the okay. case. Ferrero USA. Teacher name is fraud. False information for a stockholder. We can yeah. complete complete in the first um in the other question. 
Yes, in this case, the cast case, the company is Roque. Ferrero, USA. Ferrero. 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 I remember one Ferrero. Nos hizo falta de poor working, working condition. Ah, yeah. In the other, the poor. Poor working condition. Yeah. The low. Oh, my God. En ese poor working condition están el, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Los no pagos de las withholding. Ah, es cierto. Los incumplimientos. Ajá, incumplimientos los de pago. Los incumplimientos de pago, de pagos legales, tal vez. Obligaciones patronales. Ah, obligaciones no patronales. Entonces, incumplimiento es un uncompliancy. Uncompliancy. Incumplimiento. With holding. No, dice aquí, de la... non compliance. Non. Non compliance. Uh -huh. Non. Es porque es como incumplimiento de desobediencia, incumplimiento la... de pagos. Non compliance of withholding is right, Carlita. Uh -huh. sí. Non compliance of withholding. Sí. This is non-compliant with employer payments. Entre with, paréntesis puede ser with calling. Non-compliant with employer payments. Employer. Employer payments. Employer payments. Ajá. Entre paréntesis puede ser with holding. Para, que, que ah, para entender qué son las cosas así de... de... No es el pago al empleado, sino que la obligación del contrato con el empleado. Uh -huh. Las retenciones. Las uh -huh. retenciones. Employer. Uh -huh. This is right, the employer. You know, this no, porque el employer es la ley que emplea, ¿no? Doble E. Yes. No, 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 no. Doble E. Ah, no, employer no lleva doble E. No lleva. No ah, sé si okay. está bien. Employer. Employer, Ajá. ok. ¿Sabe cuál? No compliance with... with Payments overtime. Okay. Mm -hmm. No compliance with overtime payment. payment. Overtime. No, overtime payment. Overtime payment. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the same. Uh, Affect, yes. Mm -hmm. In the case of the company. Ferrero. Uh -huh. Ferrero. Post investment. Sería ahí primero, ve. What is the first, eh, Carlita? False, false investment. Así es, false investment. False. False. False adverse, Adver advertising. Advertising. Uh -huh, advertising. Advertising. Uh -huh. Falsa publicidad. Sí, definitivamente. Uh -huh. Por eso es el problema. A ver. Yes, because the... the uh -huh. What is uh -huh. the formation? Uh -huh. You call it? Uh -huh. You call it a spread. O sea, una untadita de chocolate is uh -huh. a nutri, nutritious. Nutritional for the children. Nutritional choice. La verdad que nos pone feliz en la Nutella, va? Ajá. <laughs> Lead to force to pay a settlement. Oh, but I can put on that lost three point of five million of the dollars. Lost, lost three, three point of five. We can use only three, three point million, of, maybe. Five how, million. Do you, how do you read it? US three point zero five. 
Uh -huh. 3.05 million USD. Mm -hmm. 3.05 mm -hmm. oh, million 3.005 million 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 ah pero dice después de haber liquidado la uh -huh. después de haber liquidado todo lo relacionado a los abogados ajá uh -huh. O sea, eso fue extra, eso es 3 millones. Uh -huh. Fue después de que liquidara todos lo, lo, ah, los sí, gastos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Aquí se va a quedar, entonces. Sí. After City. For to pay. Class Fashion mm -hmm. Love Suite. For y false advertising. Aquí hay otra información, espérame. Ah, y que eso, le vamos a poner Nutella para que sepan los una, compañeros. Una empresa realmente se puede ir a la quiebra, vea, por tener que cumplir el pago de una multa, porque no, o es la mire, cárcel, me imagino, en algunos casos. Mire, pero, y aquí dice que Aura Ruth Barbato, madre de tres niños, y Atena Hongenberg, madre de un niño de cuatro años, presentaron una demanda colectiva por publicidad engañosa en un tribunal federal de California contra Ferrer. El fabricante de Nutella. O sea, fueron unas... Unos personas naturales. Personas naturales. Ajá. Sí, porque me quedaba la duda que quién le habían pagado ese... Personas naturales. Ay, yo quiero... Esto me recuerda, vida. me recuerda a la película de Erin Brokovich. <risa> <risa> Permítanme, no voy a poner una demanda. Solo de 3 milloncitos, 3.5 millones. <risa> El problema es todo el proceso. Sí. El tiempo, es lo que yo digo, la recuperación, el tiempo que invertí y todo. O sea. Mire, este caso de, de, ¿cómo se llama? Ay, este caso mediático de Johnny Depp. Del Johnny Depp con la esposa, o sea, siete la semanas. Amplio. Siete Mira. semanas y solo la de... Okay, okay, we're short of time because I gave you some time to do this. Everybody was very excited about working on this together. So I, I loved it. I mean, you were very dedicated to, to do something, you know. So let's do it. Um, let's start with group number one. Um, group one was basically Edwin Alexander and Rosalena Salgado. Adriana was there too. And they're going to talk to us briefly about false product claims and hidden terms in user agreements. And as well, the first example of um, consequences of unethical business practices, which is Wells Fargo. Whenever you're ready, guys. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about false product claims. Um, well, there is a huge difference between using marketing to pay a product or service and the best possible lie and uh, with traditional advertisements or, or monetary companies are using misleading language to target customers. But actually, uh, these false product claims uh, with those products who had uh, news uh, in many platforms or with fake reviews, like uh, offer things that they don't, uh, for example, in, in this moment, you know, everyone know that uh, Netflix is offering uh, to 
to take to get more um in, in new customers uh uh a platform where you can pay is more cheaper but you will see advertisements in this platform when you are uh, netflix offer that if you saw a movie for at least one uh two hours you will see advertisement uh, from the middle of the movie but what happens uh how this can affect to netflix and probably if netflix lied to us the the they, they well i put the movie and then the first thing that i see is advertisement hey but they say they i will see the advertisement between the middle they, this affect a lot to the company and uh, like another uh, company like claro tigo they offer you 30 gigas and then your your internet is is um, has problems or is unstoppable like um this this affect of the companies because in my case i will disconnect and i will contract another company so that's that's really fake reviews and they don't exist in the in the company uh, uh, then when we talk about high terms in user agreements uh every time you sign out for a new service or download softwares including free softwares you see every time you see uh for example let me see uh, let, let, let's talk about instagram if you don't love this app uh they, they, they you need to accept their terms and conditions and, uh, and once those terms are is that they uh you need to they have uh the the the, the they there are the opportunity to have to your content pictures and everything and probably uh i was talking to roselena the i'm told her the one day I was talking to my wife and I told her, uh, you know what, I I would like to eat uh, Chinese food. Then I start see Facebook in a commercial of Chinese food. Oh my God, how can they guess that I want Chinese food? Chinese food is like, uh, it's probably because we we uh, accept those terms and they can see my information and they, I don't know if they listen to me or I don't know how they do that. But actually, uh, this social media could be giving social platforms to the right to you. Uh, they give you the right content to offer you things that you want, that you really want. Okay, Rosalena. No, my God, you're going to you continue. Isn't it? You, you need to explain the case, <laughs> the <West> Fargo case. <laughs> Man, that was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, continue, continue. You are come on, you can do it too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh we were uh saw so Wells Fargo. And actually um uh, Wells Fargo has a very uh unethical process because their employees um a cloner like five hundred thousand uh credit cards. So um I, I don't remember because we were reading this with Rosalena, but I remember how was this, uh, this confusion about this, but, but something that we were reading the, the man, the manager, uh, he got fired for this and employees were, were, were very, um, mad about these actions. Um, oh my God, I don't remember what, what really happened, but the Wells Fargo um, bank was uh, very, uh, um, how can I explain this? Uh, come on, Rosalina, help me, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, in a few words, that was a mm -hmm. case about mm -hmm. uh, uh, clonacion. Mm, yeah, how do you say clonacion? A cloning cards cloning oh, yeah it was a a very very uh, my god we were talking about millions of dollars uh cloning the the credit cards the employees they have to pay they have to pay to the clients and and it is is the that is the reason because it's an unethical, unethical practice. Maybe they can no, maybe no. They 
the employees don't don't they don't uh, do that but be, because uh, the company uh, was oh my god uh, how them have difficult legal problems yes Yes. Now, before, you know, a few years ago, there were no legals, there, no, there were no laws here in El Salvador that will protect, um, that will protect virtual consumers. You know, if you were to buy something online, there were no laws. Now there's a law. Also, there were no laws to protect foreigners. Um, I'm giving you an example. In a call center, an airline left, I mean, the client left because many employees were stealing. They were just transferring the points. You know, when you travel, they mm -hmm. give you points per points. mile. So many they employees, transfer. many employees here in El Salvador were stealing the points mm -hmm. and transferring the points to their own wallets. They traveled, they went to Africa. Some of them went, went together to Africa Imagine. using these points and, and they were not discovered. They quit, they left the company before they could cut them. And that's it. They never, they were never punished for these actions. Much easily. <laughs> <laughs> and so on there are so many stories of that kind tomorrow we have expositions <laughs> so great job edwin roselena i mean this is a very interesting topic if you want to add something tomorrow i beg you to do it that, that was a great exposition thank you very much now that you two have very good you know yeah it was very nice because uh we were reading about real cases about uh the about the oh my god they felt the false product claims there yes is, we, we, a lot we really of have a, a good thought with rosalena yeah, we already discussed I, this item yeah mm -hmm. i saw you yeah. there are a lot of cases mm -hmm. about this. <laughs> don't think that i'm doing nothing when i'm without my face in front of you i mean when i turn off the camera i'm paying mm -hmm. close attention to you looking for areas of improvement so we can include them on every other class you know just continue attacking what you need Tonight, I'm staying with Adriana, Stephanie, if possible. I don't know if she left. Um, she's still here. Not anymore. Okay. Ada, Patricia, Linares, do you have 10 minutes? We're, we're restarting, guys. We're restarting the list. Okay. Yep. Okay, just 10 minutes. Thank you, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. It's Wednesday. Ada, Patricia, Linares, Galdames. <laughs> Adriana, Stephanie, Martinez, Flores. Okay, Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present, good night. Good night. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. She's not here, okay. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, good night. Good night. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. Good Thank night. You. Good night. <laughs> Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. Present. Good Thank night, you. Teacher. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramirez. Present, teacher. Good night. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, good night. Good night, Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte, Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Have some rest. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Hello. Adita, how are you tonight? I'm fine, teacher. It's Glad very to... interesting, the class. Yeah, the class was very interesting tonight. That's a great topic because it's something that, I mean, we don't pay attention most of the time to what happens um, in the economics, 
you know, mm -hmm. in so many companies around the world. But yeah, there are so many problems in businesses. So, oh, right now, for example, um, this guy Tesla, uh, what what's his name? Elon Musk. Elon Musk just fired a lot of people from Twitter, right? Mm, yes. That was that was a scandal. Do you think that was ethical for him to let go people like that? Is in the use the Twitter? Yes, uh, it's is very difficult, but. Uh, the persons um, is um, fast. fast? It's, it's easy. It's easy. Um, re, re, write. Uh, write. To to text. And that's in that context is to text on Twitter. Uh, you find it easy. Other or uh, and the other. Cosas, este, um, things? Things, yes. Mm -hmm. mm. It's very, it's very things. Uh, in inventor, mm, some, cualquier, some, something. So, cualquiera, any, cualquier any, anything? Any, any, any situation. Any, any, any situation. Yes, um, and no, if no, no, uh, no, import. It doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, per, perjudic, perjudicar. How much per, it it affects? How much it, it affects? affects an other person? Other people, yeah. Other people, yes. I guess, but you know what? I admire um, Elon Musk a lot. He's a very smart person, but I don't know what happened with him, you know, because he let go um, many employees, sending them a meme. He sent a picture, a meme. Yes, you are fired. Yes. It's like, that's weird. Maybe it's a fake news, but I saw a video of that meme and I was like, no, it's not possible. Time to it's leave horrible. the time to leave the nest. You're fired. That's what he said. Yes. Yes, it's horrible the situation in and the memes uh, uh, for the people, but it's affected. Yeah, poor people is, is the, that's mm -hmm. the bad part, you know, that so many are running out of employee, out of employment. And then and, and on the current economical situation after COVID, you know, mm -hmm. it's really bad. How long have you been working in your company? Um, I, I have um, been working here. I have been working. I have been working uh -huh. 15 years. For 15 for, years. For 15 years. Wow. Mm -hmm. Working for 15 years. Okay. Do you like what you do? Yes. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. It's it's very uh, for me it's easy my my work my job my job my job yes you're doing this you're an accountant right accountant me an accountant are you in accounting uh, are you an accountant contadora and uh, no no uh, no i have i i am it a uh, take you're typing. Yes. You're, uh, yes. Really? Hmm. Yes. So you're fast at typing. Yes. Wow. Okay. Maybe. Well, the the have you ever tried your speed? Um. 
more or less. <laughs> there is a there is a there is a test online. Uh, yeah, there is a test. There are there are many tests online that you can use nowadays. Just go to that website and you start typing, and it will measure in sixty seconds um, how many words you can do in sixty seconds. Of course, this is in English. Okay, so it's difficult. <laughs> I know it is difficult, but it's very helpful. It's very useful. Let me let me show you really quick. Oh, if I'm not supposed to do this, but I don't know. Let's see if you can see that. You see? Okay. So you can test your typing skills here. Mm -hmm. As soon as you start typing, um, it will start counting. So it says after quick came science. The fair, oh my God, <laughs> I made a mistake already. <laughs> the fair may let, and you don't need to be thinking on, on. I, I have to see the keyword. Do you see the keyword when you type? Huh? Mm -hmm. Do you see the keyword when you type? I don't understand if. Do you see your keyboard, your fingers when you type? Oh, I got lost. Uh, mm, may. A veces sí, a veces no. O sea, <laughs> ay, rapidito. O sea, ¿cómo le digo? Eh, en my, my job is Spanish. Uh -huh. And it's very, uh, very oh, uh, uh -huh. easy uh, reading. Right, right. <laughs> you see, uh, you're you're a total. <laughs> I'm a total. Mm -hmm. 23, 23 words per minute. I am a total. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, eh, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Mm -hmm. eh, es estresante. Es, es estresante o estresante? Es estresante. But for the time is entregar el trabajo. To, the, the time that you have to deliver your work mm -hmm. is stressful. I got you, yes. That pressure is really hard. Yes. Okay, I gotta put some injection on me right now. Because <laughs> okay, Adita, thank you very much for staying with me. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, teacher, thank Good night. you. See you tomorrow. Good night.